What's up guys, time for another in the bag update video. I'm gonna to try to be really fast about this. My in the bags always go long. So let's get straight into it. I'm using the Dynamic Discs Easy Cart by Zuka. Have the soldier bag on here, it holds everything I need. Got the twin 40 ounce um, insulated water bottles. Love this rig, definitely sticking with the cart. I've really settled into it and I totally dig it. Okay, a couple other things that I don't throw very often that I kind of keep down below. I have the Criminal. Just your typical super overstable meat hook utility driver. I'll throw this thing into a crazy stiff wind or if I need to throw like low ceiling skip shot or a severe hyzer um, up and over something like a spike hyzer, that sort of thing. You guys know what you use an overstable fairway for. This is the one I go with because it's fast enough that I can still get good distance out of it. I like the feel and it's extremely overstable and that's exactly what I want it for so it works out super well. Um, I also have this Prime Trespass. The Criminal and this Trespass are probably the least thrown discs in my bag um, to be honest but I like having them. This one I will use if it's wet out, if it's raining. It works out great. The Prime plastic feels really grippy. It flies about the same as a Lucid um, for me after taking a few tree hits and stuff. These start out really overstable. Um, but I also kind of just like having this one if I want to throw over the water at Rooster Rock, like I'm going to throw over the pond or something, I'll use a Prime Trespass or any type of risky situation where if I hyzer out it could go somewhere I don't want it to go. I'll throw this rather than my pre-Sweden that I really love. Um, it's kind of like a stunt double in that way because I don't care if I lose it. Then I have this one. This one is a gift from my friend Andy. It is an ESP Glow Thrasher, Max Weight Glow Thrasher. Much more overstable than my other thrashers, um, but not not overstable, but it's just just uh, definitely considerably more stable than my other thrashers, and it ends up getting pretty close to trespass territory. I'm still kind of working out um, how to use them together, but there's definitely some differences. I do like this disc. It's beautiful. It's, it's a phenomenal looking disc, and it's a gift from a good friend, so I like to have it in the bag. I dig it. Good flyer. Okay. Getting into the bag proper, these are the ones I throw a lot more often. Um, my main putters are max weight jawbreaker, but as you can see this one's gotten quite beat in. It's starting to float too far to the right for me, so I just put a new fresh one in there. Um, this one's just basically exactly the same, and uh, they start out just perfect. As they break in, they still work really well, um, but I think I'm going to use this one outside the circle, and I'm going to throw it on approaches and tee shots. And then this one is the one I'm going to use as my main putter inside the circle exclusively. Jawbreaker magnets are the, the best putters inside the circle and outside the circle I've ever used. They just work incredibly well for my arm and my putting style. And I just, I absolutely adore those discs. I'm so confident in them and uh, I love it. So, you know, I got to have my beat in orange soft magnet as well. This one I'll use to throw technical approaches, um, short range tee shots, downhill shots, hyzer flip to turnovers, hyzer flip straight, all the stuff I've used them for for several years, many years now. Um, the vast majority of the time I've played disc golf, I've had an orange beat up orange soft magnet in the bag and they're always, um, always really consistent and just do what I need them to do time after time after time. I love that disc, have to have one in the bag pretty much. Final putter in the bag. For right now, we have the Caltrop. I have two different ones. This is a soft Caltrop. This one is quite broken in, <clears throat> max weight soft Caltrop. And I really like this thing for all of my layups. If I have a wide open approach to the basket, I'm throwing this disc because it's so consistent, but it's really straight and it doesn't ever really go too far past the basket. So it's fantastic for that. Also a great short range tee shot disc. I've aced with this one. Um, beautiful for that like a short range hyzer off the tee. I really like it but this is my go-to layup approach disc um, and it's just extremely consistent and I really trust that disc. I love it. And then we have an Opto. This is another max weight Opto Caltrop. Relatively similar in terms of stability. Maybe a touch more glide. Uh, it's hard to say but I like this one off the tee because it'll stay in the same kind of stability it is now for a really long time. It's a slow opto disc. It's not going to break in very much at all. And I've aced with this one as well. Um, and I really like it for short putter hyzers off the tee. Very straight up to speed. Always finishes and will never flip on me. Very trustworthy and uh, solid disc that I like quite a bit. Getting into my mid-ranges. 
I've really um, developed my mid-range game over the last couple years. I really trust the mid-ranges that I have in my bag, and they work out super well. And I'm going to them off the tee a lot more than I used to. The Gobi is probably the most underrated mid-range on the market, and might be my favorite disc overall out of anything that I've tested. You guys know I've probably tested more golf discs than the vast majority of disc golfers out there. I know I've reviewed more of them than anyone else. I have like almost 200 different discs I've reviewed right now, 185. The Gobi stands out as one of my absolute favorite discs I've ever thrown. This one is max weight. I think max weight for Gobies is 175. Um, or so. This one, these are both 175. They all seem to be right around that range. This one's perfectly flat across the top, or damn near flat, and it's my favorite mid-range by far. I throw this thing off the tee, and on longer approaches, it's just laser straight. I can get it to turn over if I want to, um, but it's more of a straight turnover. It won't really hold a sharp turnover for me as well. It's such a straight disc, it really wants to fly um, on that kind of uh, neutral straight line for me. Tr tremendous. I love this thing. I also use that one a lot for longer approaches on uh, longer par threes and stuff like that. If I need uh, more than a putter after my tee shot, I'll use that one a lot because it's uh, really trustworthy. Then I have this one. It's the first run. Smoke gray, kind of black, goby. This one has a little bit more dome to it. It's fresher and it's a little bit more stable. So this one I'll throw for just super straight goby shots that I want to finish a little bit more, more of a smooth hyzer um, type type shot rather than a kind of hyzer flip up to straight, but really like this disc. I will also throw this one if it's a little bit more of a risky shot because I'm so in love with that orange one, I would rather sacrifice that first run. I have a couple of spare first runs laying around if I need them. Then onto the compass, I still have this um, straight up. Um, pre-world champ Ricky compass this one is max weight 177 it's nicely broken in I throw this one almost ex almost exclusively for turnover shots it holds a turnover start to finish extremely well occasionally I'll throw it for a straight shot but I'll usually go to the gobies for that instead this one holds a turnover all the way really really well it's super neutral and I could play a whole round with this one disc because it really holds the release angle nicely. But if I give it Anheuser and commit to it, it holds it perfectly throughout the flight. And that's what I use that disc for 99% of the time. Then I have another gift from a friend, my buddy Big Anthony. This one is in 2X uh, Gold X Blend Ricky Compass. Um, this thing is fantastic. I love the Gold X Blend. It feels great. And this one is actually like slightly overstable. Um, so I can throw it just on a hyzer and it will hold a beautiful hyzer throughout the flight. So I'll use this one a lot for shorter range shots that I want for uh, just accuracy, short mid-range hyzers on a short shot. This thing is phenomenal. I've gotten a ton of birdies with this thing. Some good ace runs. I think this one's due for an ace sometime this year because it really hunts the basket. It's extremely consistent and I really trust this disc. It's one of my favorite mid-ranges. I love my mid-range lineup in general. They're just tremendous right now. Working out great. Then um, I have been carrying this Opto Compass, or uh, Anchor rather. This is an Opto Anchor 177. Um, I've been using this one for, for quite a while since I got it. This was from the first run of DGN stamp discs and I love it. It's extremely consistent, overstable but not complete meat hook. Um, this is my most trusted disc in the wind by far. If I need to throw something into the wind, this is a disc I trust more than anything to get it to fly. I know it's going to fly into the wind regardless, and uh, it works out super well. So if there's a stiff wind, I'll throw this disc because I know I can trust it. It's really great for short approaches and stuff in the wind as well. And uh, occasionally I'll use it off the tee um, outside of windy conditions and stuff, but that's generally what I use it for. Um, if it's an overstable mid-range shot off the tee, I can use this disc as well. Very consistent, trustworthy disc. I'm going to move this over here. And uh, I have been toying around with this other disc, though. This is another Anchor. This one was sent to me by Dave Felberg. Um, I've been working with the Next Generation Tour. Check out what I've, what I've been up to on Instagram, at Next Gen Disc Golf. And Dave sent me this um, with some other goodies as kind of a care package for working with the Tour. Um, here's a little look at the anchor, by the way. It's got a nice beaded mid-range feel. Love that. Um, this one is a gold line, blank. It's like the same plastic as Deco Dye, and it feels tremendous. So grippy and really nice. I like the way it's just straight up blank disc. It's kind of unique. I dig it. 
I like the fact that I got it from Dave, and I'm thinking I'm going to throw this one in the bag for a while. It flies very similar to my uh, white Opto. The white Opto, like opaque Opto plastic, isn't super different to the gold line in my experience. So I may end up carrying that one uh, that Dave sent me just because I think that's pretty rad. Kind of surreal <laughs> in a lot of ways, to be honest. On to drivers. I have two Furies in the bag, both Opto. This one is an older run. This one is somewhat newer run, different stamp. This one's 165. It's got a slight dome to it. Very understable. I love this disc, though. I throw it for a lot of different shots. It is um, really trustworthy to hold a turnover. It also rolls very well. Heiser flip up straight. Heiser flip to turnover. F throw it nice and flat and get a strong turnover. If I give it Anheuser, I can throw it up high and like kind of mimic like a forehand spike shot because I don't really have a forehand off the tee, so this is a disc I'll use for anything left to right, and it works out tremendously. I also got the best ace of my life with this disc. Um, hole, hole 7 at Stubb Stewart State Park, downhill, turnover, through a gap, around the corner, 40 feet downhill. It's about 320, 325 straight into the bucket this thing is just i love this disc i already loved it and then after i got that ace it's become like pretty legendary for me in my bag i, I adore that that flyer and then we have this one is 170 older run kind of similar era to the uh, pre-sweden lucid uh trespasses that i like has the laser printed weight on the bottom this one will just hyzer flip up dead straight and hold it all the way i like this one a lot for tailwind as well um, straight tailwind shots it works out great um, it's definitely a little bit more stable than my pink one so I'll use it for that but I could pretty much use it for all the same stuff turns and rollers and whatever I just have to give it a touch more angle still an understable flyer I love the Fury though and just as a quick aside it's one of my most recommended discs for people that are looking for a straight flying disc or anything that moves left to right the Fury is a tremendous flyer for that and if you're a lower arm speed player um, the Fury is a great disc because it has a ton of glide, and it's something that you can throw very straight without minimal, with minimal effort. On to my most thrown distance drivers by far are Thrashers. I have a first run Z, and I have 165 straight up Z. This one is a little gummy, and it's pearly, beautiful, has a great feel, has a little bit more of a dome to it as well. This is probably the farthest flying disc in my bag currently. I'm still without my big Z Thrasher. My buddy uh, Kevin has had it for a month or so since I saw him last, and I just haven't gotten it back from him. As soon as I get that back, it'll go straight in my bag. Um, but these two are getting the job done quite well. The first run is max weight. It's a little bit more stable all the way. Like, it doesn't turn as much. It has a touch more fade. But not super different, ultimately. But uh, they both absolutely bomb. They work out great for my arm and my throwing style. The Thrasher is probably the farthest flying disc that I've tested to date that I trust enough to throw and get really accurate flights out of it as well. These are easily my most thrown distance drivers by far. I'll use those on uh, long courses for almost every tee shot. Then, rounding it out, two more molds. We have Trespasses. I have my old Lucid um, pre-Sweden Trespass. This one I've had for several years. It flies almost exactly the same. I can throw it as hard as I want to. It'll stand up and ride for a while. It'll come back and finish. It's mostly straight overall, but it holds a really great distance hyzer for me, and I absolutely adore this disc. I trust it very much, and uh, like I said, I don't know how. It still flies almost identical to how it did when I first got it, and it's been one of my favorite drivers of all time. I love this thing. It has a great feel, nice flat top, and uh, really trust it. It's a great flyer. Wonderful disc. Um, that's why I have that prime one, because I would be pretty sad to lose that yellow one even though I have other uh, pre-Sweetens that I could throw in if I needed to. Then I have the Lucid X Trespass. This is the EMAC Trespass. And the Lucid X Plastic is a two, 2018 Tour fundraiser. The Lucid X has a beautiful look to it and a little bit more um, stiffness, kind of more rigid feel in the hand. This one also has a little bit more dome to it. And it's considerably more overstable than the older run Lucid discs or probably the regular stock newer run Lucid trespasses as well. I've heard that the newer run straight up Lucids are more overstable than the older ones and then the Lucid X takes it to the next level. So if you like the trespass but you find it a little touchy for your arm speed if you throw really far, um, the Lucid X is what you want to go with. And for me it ends up being a really great headwind trespass or one that I can really really crank on 
and it goes really hard and finishes uh, pretty strong when it slows down. So I really like this disc, um, and I gotta, I gotta show Emac the love. He's one of my favorite pros out there, and it's nice to be able to kind of represent that in the bag. Then, last but not least, we have the Gladiator. This is a Deco Die Gladiator. I love the feel of this thing. It's pretty flat. And the Gladiator has this really beautiful rounded profile that just feels super comfortable in the hand. I can throw this thing as hard as I want to. It won't flip on me at all. And it will go really far, um, still flying pretty overstable um, all the way. So I dig that quite a bit. I can throw this thing as hard as I want to and I trust it 100% not to ever flip on me for my arm speed. Um, I really like it for headwind shots. It works really well for me into the headwind. I will throw it into relatively strong headwinds or if I want to throw like a low hyzer um, and take a skip or something like that this disc works out really well and I really like the feel of it but with the speed and stability it works out um, really well for my headwind drives that's my bag for right now let me know if you guys have any questions I'll check you all very soon cheers